Welcome to the CA Performance Management version 3.2 video, Device Discovery. Discovery is a process CA Performance Management uses to identify and model the devices in your infrastructure. The process of device discovery involves the creation of SNMP profiles, IP domains, and discovery profiles. This video examines the steps required to discover devices in CA Performance Management 3.2. CA Performance Center relies on data sources to collect data. Three data sources interoperate with CA Performance Center, CA Data Aggregator supplied with CA Performance Management, CA Network Flow Analysis, and CA Spectrum. Each feed into CA Performance Center, bringing them together and acting as a single pane of glass for the administration and operation of all three. In preparation for the discovery and polling of your devices, you must create an SNMP profile to define the access credentials for the devices in your monitored environment. First, let's take a look at the SNMP profile process. Before running a discovery, you must create SNMP profiles to define the access credentials for the devices in your monitored environment. SNMP profiles are definitions that contain the credentials, such as community string and port information, necessary to enable secure queries of device MIBs using SNMP. C Performance Management uses profiles during inventory discovery to determine what credentials to use when accessing a device. SNMP profiles are administered in the CA Performance Center UI since they are not specific to the data aggregator but are shared across all data sources. Secure SNMP profile data, such as community strings, are stored in an encrypted form in CA Performance Center and are also encrypted before transmitted to the data aggregator and data collectors. SNMP profiles encapsulate in a single logical item all the data necessary for MIBS object access. CA Performance Management supports SNMVP1, SNMPV2C, and SNMPV3. Discovery profiles, which will be covered shortly, can have their own prioritized list of SNMP profiles, which are used instead of the global SNMP profile list. CA Performance Management lets you determine the selection order of the SNMP profiles for discovery and polling. Profiles are listed in a prioritized order and can be easily changed. Moving up in the order increases the priority, therefore making it more likely to be used in discovery and monitoring. Changes to the order do not affect existing poll devices. The highest priority profile, which is successful for a given device, is the one which is used. When discovering each device, profiles are used in parallel. Therefore, the number of SNMP profiles is not a factor in discovery performance. Next, let's take a look at IP domains. IP domains separate monitored devices from different networks to resolve IP address conflicts. By creating IP domains, you control DC assignment for data collection and deal with overlapping IP address spaces. Every discovery runs in the context of an IP domain. Like SNMP profiles, CA Performance Center enables use of IP domains across multiple data sources. An IP domain is associated with one or more data collectors. A data collector can belong to only one IP domain. Discovered devices within an IP domain are load shared across the associated set of DCs. Now let's take a look at the discovery profile process. Discovery profiles are administered in the data aggregator UI. Discovery profiles initiate the creation of devices which are added to CA Performance Center inventory for use in reports. An IP domain links discovery profiles with the data collectors which discover and poll their devices, such as routers, switches, servers, and pingable devices. By creating discovery profiles, you can specify which devices in your monitored environment are discovered using IP addresses, IP address ranges, and host names. These can be configured manually or by importing a CSV file. To regularly update information for discovered devices or discovered new devices, you can configure a discovery to run on a daily or weekly schedule. Discovery profiles offer a number of advanced configuration settings such as naming order and ICMP discovery. Naming conventions include host name, system name, and IP address. 
Disabling create pingables is desirable when, for example, the IP address range contains a number of PCs which would respond to pings yet have no SNMP agent installed. If create pingables is not turned off, a pingable device is created for each one. Now let's run a discovery. Creating a discovery profile does not initiate a discovery. It must be explicitly run. As mentioned, you can schedule a discovery to run on a regular basis. You can also manually run a discovery. When a discovery profile is running and when it completes, the state column and completion percentage column update as shown. The results of each discovery run are captured in the discovery profile's history. Discovery summary information includes discovery start time, number of new, existing, changed, and retired devices. Device type and state checkboxes provide easy filtering. A full list of discovered devices is included in the discovery results and can be sorted by the properties column. Finally, let's run a rediscovery. Rediscovery updates information about existing devices and discovers new devices. When you rediscover a device again by running a discovery profile or by manually rediscovering a device as shown here, CE Performance Management detects the changes to the device such as system name, system contact, device type, location, vendor, device description, and device model. These changes can result in changes to the groups and device collections that a device is in. For more detailed information about device discovery, Click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to the product documentation, visit the CA communities, or see the learning path.